I'm Klaus Overbeck and uh, this is a current painting I'm, I'm doing right now. And um, just to show you a little bit about how to make a, a mountain. Now I already painted a lot already as you can see. But um, just to illustrate a little bit, I've mixed a few colors here. So we have a burnt sienna, which is the brown one here, which is this one. Then I have orange tint, and uh, then I have black, and then I have white. These are the colors I use to actually paint on top of, of uh, the current dry paint uh, to actually make the, the color come out for the, for the actual painting. So this landscape is uh, taken from Kellingefjellet, which is actually a place in Iceland. And I have taken several, let's say, shots from Iceland and mixed it into my own sort of painting. Uh, so it's not a specific position or, or shot, but it's a mix of these different scenarios in Iceland, which I found very beautiful. So I'll take my, my small knife here. And uh, let's say I, I want to finish this over here. So as you can see, I put a little bit more light on the right color of, of each of the mountains side, just to illustrate where the light may come from. Here I have made it a little bit darker. But that does not mean that there's no light. It just means that maybe the rock up here is a little bit more dark. So play between lights and darks is very important to make a, a nice, nice painting. So let's say, okay, I want to work on this one. It should be a little bit more dark here, and then I'll make a little bit more um, light on the other side. So I'll take some color, I pull it out on the board. Say, I want to have a little bit more of this orange effect in it. So I pull a little bit more orange, put it inside. And uh, I look at it and say, okay, maybe I want a little bit more dark. Yep. Right. It's important that you get that effect. It's almost like marble. So I pull my knife through. And then you see there's got a little roll of paint sitting on there. And based on that, you would actually work, work your way over here on it. So you can see it's maybe too, it's maybe not dark enough, so I just take a little bit extra, the dark, put it on top. It's a little more light, so to change between the, the light and dark. And you want to face this one out somehow. And it helps step back and look at it again to get a feeling of how does it look. If you're not happy about it, change it. You can always change. So now I start working on this one on the other side. So now I'm trying to shape the mountain into each other so you see the connection between the two. That's important to have this uh, effect of, of these mountains actually connected. And uh, that's why I'm using this knife with a smooth, smooth and good uh, flow between the two. So I'll take some paint here and I'll try. I'll try to actually touch it up. Be careful not to 
not to go too deep because down here I want I want water. So later on I don't wanna redo this part again. So that means you need to know where your next next line, next water line is gonna be. So I make it a little bit more dark now. That's my actually that's my rock bottom, so to say. This is where the mountain meets the land base because in Iceland it's very much very much volcanic. So you need to show that now it's going back back to volcanic ground, and that's what I'm trying to do right here. I'm trying to get the flow of the mountain to go into my ground perspective here. It's very important. So I'm trying to get that done. So that's a little um, illustration how to actually work on your mountain. And uh, see you next time. My name is Klaus Holbeck and uh, thank, you, thank you for watching.